All right, so let's go into the second part of the initiation. initiation. Now, now I'll be talking about Dash. Now, holy moly moly, Dash. Yeah. Before I took my team on break, I was known usually just for using Dash. It was my favorite move and the one I used the most. But that's changed over the time, and now I use Shield Chapter more. But still, Dash is one of the most important skills to use as initiations, and I believe it's one of the two most important ones. It is much more powerful than Traceless in the sense that how fast it is. Now, there are really, really a lot of ways to use Dash. A lot of implications, a lot of things to know about it. I could make a whole video just about Dash and talk how to use it. So, this time I will go only over the main basics. So, what makes Dash so powerful as an initiation is that it prones. Simply, you dash the opponent, you get prones. Then you use Leg Swipe, and that's it. You're on the ground. After they're on the ground, you can do whatever the heck you want with them. You can acupuncture them, you can freeze them. You can kick them, you can grab them, there's just so many ways you could go in after the knockout. So that's the main way to use dash. Basically, get one hit, you prone them, and then you use like swipe. And the other ways I don't really recommend. Some people like to do other things after the prone. They like to kick, they like to grab. I don't really like Ignite at all as a grab. I would prefer to just get like swipe and knock them down. After that you can do other things. So, how to use dash effectively? Well, the main thing to know about Dash is, of course, the animation cancel. It is what makes Dash so flippin' OP. Now, you've probably seen one thing before. I bet you have, and it's this thing. Now, this is broken. This thing, what I just did, is just canceling the Dash animation. As soon as you cancel it, you can just do instantly it again. Now, in, Korea, in China and Vietnam, this thing was fixed in a very simple fashion. You can, in fact, do this legitimately. This is not a bug to actually just cancel the dash animation and use it again. What is a bug is the fact that it doesn't go on cooldown and you can do it infinitely. Now, how dash works is that as soon as you land it the first time, it instantly goes on the, what I call a deprivation mode. Basically, after you land on the ground the first time with the dash, you have around 3 seconds to use all of them, and then you go on cooldown. Regardless if you use them or not, after you land on the ground, you have 3 seconds to just use them and they're gonna go on cooldown. The bug is that if you never land on the ground, you can use it infinite amount of times. It will never stop, because it will never start going on that deprivation mode. So, I never, ever, want to see anyone using with this bullshit, ever. You should never use this, because this is purely a bug, and it actually doesn't even add that much. Now, I've explored many ways of using this bug, for example, as transportation tool, you can actually travel pretty fast with the given stamina you use with it, but really, it, it's silly. In the arena, it's not even that useful, because the person can just spam block forever, and you'll just wait for you to stop using this bullshit. Also, it does take stamina. Maybe it's slowly, but it does eventually use up all your stamina, so spamming it for too long won't even do you any good. Like, yeah. Just don't do it. It's bad-mannered, it's gonna get fixed, it doesn't look cool, it makes you look like a speed hacker. Just don't use it. The other way, but how you can use it, is simply as a cancel. You should use in your dash all the time and cancel it to redirect the dash position. Now, of course the counter to dash is very simple, you just block. But, however, as I talked previously, block only works in an arc, it works forward and to the sides. It does have a blind spot, which is the back. So what you do with the dash is you go in and you try to cancel it with that jump and then you dash from behind. You can do this very fast depending on how good you are with the skill. Now, that's why I recommend always practicing dash. You should even do this in PvE, as you're playing in a dungeon or something. You should just, in instance for example, you should just use this dash a lot and try to redirect it as a practicing tool. Cause like, no harm done to just to practice it mid PvE. So yeah. Like this, using dashes, you can just keep cancelling the... Using a jump or a dash, you can just cancel the, the skill dash to redirect the location. So, as you redirect the angle, you will be able to bypass the block, and this is what makes it so powerful. Other things to do is, while you're under CC, for example, you know that uh, Shaolin's, no not Shaolin's, Wutong's, yeah, Wutong's, they have a very cool uh, sword effect where they use a spinning sword that goes into you. While you're under that effect, you can actually dash out of it. So, it actually can be used as an escape tool. Often, quite often actually, as I'm going, getting engaged upon, I can just go use the dash as an escape tool. I will go backwards to escape from the enemy's skills and to kite them. Since what dash does is basically, it's our normal dash, but no stamina cost, and very fast. 
So yeah, you should definitely use like that. Also, yeah, see, it went all then because I touched the crown. So you should be using it a lot as an escape tool, as a redirection tool, something to make the battle more chaotic. Now, using dash exclusively as initiation is actually pretty fine, and I actually think it's a good way to do things. You can redirect it infinite amount of times pretty much, you can just keep doing it. I used to call them fix, dash fix. Basically every single time you dash, you just jump around, change the angle, and go again. And you can keep doing this fix to keep messing up the opponent. But if, it is, if the opponent is pretty good, he will be able to block every single one of them. So dash does have weaknesses. I personally don't use dash as initiation anymore that much. I use it more as a tempo thing. When I see that the battle has gotten so heated, heated that the opponent won't even react in time because he'll be too focused on using his own skills. So sometimes, as the opponent is running at you, you can actually just poof, instantly dash them. Now, in 50 seconds, I'll show you another cool way to use it. But basically, yeah, with dash, you just want to cancel it all the time. You don't want to use it that much. You don't want to just flat out use it all the time because they will block it. Only if there is really, really high tempo in the battle where they won't react in time. Other ways, you always want to just cancel it to redirect it so it's harder to block. Also, another thing to know that it actually has a very cool status effect. While you are using dash, you are stable. Now, stable makes you immune to some forms of crowd control, so it's pretty powerful. But the biggest problem with it is still that it has the same problem which Willow Break has, that while using it, you can't get grabbed. So you should not use it flat out against uh, Splendors or Shaolins, because they will simply poof, grab you. And that's it. Yeah, I'll show some videos later. So yeah, that those are the simple uses of Dash. Now there is another cool use. Now this is a very, very BM sort of initiation, which really, this goes more to what you see Harmony do, and they instantly see you. Now, Zephyr have two ways to instantly see as the battle starts. Dash is one of them. Basically, the fight starts, you instantly dash forward, and you got the prone, and you got the knockout. This is really punishing on small mistakes from your opponents. Basically, if they don't use the proper initiation, I mean the very first second of the fight for you, 